All right, here we go. The last chapter, chapter uh, 40, The World Without Borders. We're starting with the first heading and first subheading, which is about the global economy. And the most important thing to, of course, notice, note at this point is that the biggest thing affecting the economy is the uh, end of communism. So communism was shown to be not as effective in many ways as capitalism. And so when they lose the Cold War, when they're sh shown as not as effective, we have a huge wave of economic globalization happens. The world becomes obsessed with things called free trade, which basically means uh, you make it as easy as possible for goods, people, and ideas to move across borders. And so without, without communism around as seen as a major influence, we see more and more countries jump onto this bandwagon. Uh, originally, there was a, a group called the General Agreement of Tariffs and Trade called GATT which uh, started in 1947 to kind of spread free trade. And then without um, communism standing in the way anymore, that is going to change into the World Trade Organization. Uh, the idea as well is that basically as you're trying to make uh, it easy, as easy as possible to move goods across borders, that means that um, more people, the, mo the best products get to the most places and makes the most money, which creates more and more products. Um, this is going to really aid in the creation of global corporations. Now, uh, global corporations are really unique in that they really see the world as one market. So they put things in the places that make the most profit for them. Uh, this is not exactly multinational corporations. It's like the final form of them. So whereas some companies um, are based and are really um, set in one country, Global corporations basically will move things at a moment's notice if it makes them more money. This creates a huge issue because it really kind of breaks the social contract. We've talked about a social contract between uh, politics and the people, but uh, global corporations, um, basically the idea is, is, hey, we'll make good goods for you, You'll pr we'll provide that, and then if you buy from us, then we'll be giving taxes back to be helping everyone in the, in the society. And global corporations aren't beholden to that. They literally move stuff to wherever they can make the most money to make the most money possible for uh, the company and its shareholders. So with that, um, that is creates a huge issue because one of the ways that uh, one things that that countries will or these global corporations will do is they will insist on small, if not non-existent. Um, taxes on them. And so that's been a huge issue in the United States and a huge issue throughout the world as corporations go wherever they can make the most money, which usually means pay the least amount of taxes as possible. And that is our first subheading.